What is a t-shirt? <laughs> Sometimes the simple things are the most difficult to define. A t-shirt is... Let me think for a second. I don't understand the question. But hold the most meaning. They make us feel something. Little things like a warm cup of coffee, a buffalo sunrise, a friend's laugh, <laughs> love. How do we define these? This is a t-shirt. Actually, this is a 26 shirts t-shirt. And what makes this shirt different, what makes it special, isn't what's on the shirt per se. Because behind every 26 shirt is a story. This is ours. There was a time at the gym, I remember about five or six years ago, where I was wearing a 26 shirt, and somebody said, oh, I love your shirt, where'd you get that? And I said, 26 shirts. And he just looked at me and he said, what's that? And it was kind of this weird thing of like, oh right, I guess, I guess not everybody knows about 26 shirts. So what, <laughs> what is 26 shirts? 26 Shirts is a give back company. A t-shirt company. We're not a t-shirt company, we're a fundraising company. That have City of Buffalo tribute or Buffalo sports themed designs that releases uh, new shirts every two weeks that benefits a local family in need. So it's not just buying a shirt to wear, but you're also giving back, whether it's a charity, a person, or some other initiative. T-shirts just happen to be the vehicle in which we're raising our funds. I'm going to say what Dell says. It's a fundraising company that makes T-shirts. 26 Shirts is a fundraising company masquerading as a T-shirt company. We put out all these fun designs, you know, that we plaster on a T-shirt, but we exist to help families in terrible situations. Every family that comes to us is always in the worst situation of their lives, and we take that very seriously. I'm wearing the Mafia Means family. Honestly, my entire life was changed by Bill's Mafia. I, I have them to thank for the um, people in my life. It's really become such a community that I'm so proud to be a part of. I mean, these people not only have become my friends, but my true family here in Buffalo. Last year, Memorial Day weekend, we were in the backyard roasting marshmallows and there was an explosion with our fire pit and three out of my four daughters were burned. They fashioned a t-shirt for our family and I think it's so fitting because it's geared off of like My Little Pony and with the four girls that was one of our favorite things to play with and it's called My Little Buffalo. So to know that the community reached out to fundraise and help strangers was amazing. And just the love and outpouring of love and hope and prayers and this whole organization fundraiser really helped like the healing process. And it was this one less thing to worry about while we were all healing. <laughs> Twenty Six Shirts is a company that epitomizes the city of Good Neighbors. It was founded upon helping others. What's better in this world than the rewarding feeling you get from doing that? So behind every Twenty Six Shirt design is a beneficiary, somebody local to Western New York who could really use the help, and that's what makes these shirts different. Do you know, like, even or, like where it came from? It all started with Bill's Mafia. Oh, it's oh yes, Stevie okay. Johnson. That I know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I know the story behind the founding of the the phrase Bill's Mafia. Sure. I thought you meant the company itself. Are you glad he dropped the ball? Sorry, Stevie, but yeah. <laughs> God said in the Bible to someone that was going through a horrible time. What 
others meant for evil in your life, I meant it for good. That past that was dropped ended up being something that wasn't great for Stevie, but it ended up being for good in the end. This this whole thing, you know, it might have come into fruition, you know, through some other method, you know. What grew from that is absolutely the greatest thing that, that could have happened with such an insignificant moment in time. But that one specifically changed this city for the better. Are you glad it happened? Am I glad that that drop happened? Yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs> uh, I wouldn't be here. 2010. Playing a game against Pittsburgh. We ended up making it to overtime. And Brian Fitzpatrick throws this perfect rope to Stevie Johnson. It was like a lay, it was just a layup like that. Boom. And if you look at that play in slow motion, it's it's a catch. And I just remember we all stood up to cheer. And then it just falls out of his hands. I remember him sitting in the end zone, just kind of looking defeated. Then we realized that he dropped it, and it was just a, a very, it got real quiet real fast. It was just silence. Just, I felt silence like that. I let everybody down. And this is how you do me. Um, but then the mafia picked me up. And we go on to lose that game. And then Stevie gets on Twitter. And tweeted out his now infamous God tweet. I, I praise you 24-7, and this is how you do me. You expect me to learn from this? How? I'll never forget this, ever. Thanks, though. Yeah, he says thanks, though. <laughs> I remember it was, I think it was all over, you know, it was on ESPN. It was on The View the next day. Probably two days later, Adam Schefter retweets it. The irony is that Adam Schefter is like the most connected dude like in the NFL. And for him to share a tweet that was old news at this point, we got really defensive. Breon, I think especially, was kind of poking fun at that. I created a hashtag Schefter Breaking News and it started tweeting a bunch of old stuff. It became a little competition with all the fans to come up with funny old sayings like, you know, man discovers fire, Schefter breaking news. Abraham Lincoln shot, famous actor, prime suspect, hashtag Schefter breaking news. And so he ends up blocking us. Fast forward six months later, Twitter used to have this tradition on Fridays. You'd tweet out, you know, hashtag follow Friday with a bunch of accounts that you would suggest other people follow. And so I did like a hashtag follow Friday and I mentioned a bunch of us that had ended up being blocked by Adam. And I said, follow the Bills Mafia. It was just a, it was just a throwaway tweet, but it really just, that term Bills Mafia struck a chord with Bills fans. We are here today to share our story of our sweet little baby boy, Adrian, who back in 2020 was diagnosed with aggressive, fast-moving cancer. He fought really hard, but he went to Texas to try a clinical trial, and he ended up needing emergency spine surgery because he had a growth in his spine. And unfortunately, a month after that, we were able to get him home, and he passed at the end of December of 2022. Darkest day of the year. But the one thing that got us through all of that, the three of us, especially during the time of COVID, was the outpour of support from our entire community. One of those things being 26 shirts. This was a shirt the campaign was more than anything we could have asked for. You saw someone wearing your shirt, even if they didn't purchase it knowing us. It was just, we knew somebody was back. There was so much love. That's what you need. You need support. You need love. You need just everything around you. Even now, we want to take him somewhere with us. Guess what we throw on? Like, you want to come? You want to go to a zoo? We want to go see some animals? Let's go. And we are just so appreciative of not only the financial aspect that 26 Shirts brought to us, but what the comfort brought as well.
I think it's a very tight-knit community. Everyone is very proud to live here, maybe sometimes a little too proud. <laughs> Uh, they staunchly defend everything um, that we do as Buffalonians, and I think we have a right to from everything that we've been through, uh, i.e. the early 90s. I don't know, it's just a really great place to uh, raise my two boys, and I think that's kind of why maybe I never left, uh, and I'm okay with that. We're sitting there in church. And I put out this tweet saying, you can't call yourself a Bills fan if you're not following the Bills Mafia. I remember sitting there in the pew and my phone is just like vibrating like crazy. Bzz, 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 bzz. You know, you have a new follower, you have a new follower, you have a new follower. And that's when the page just took off. And this Bills Mafia Twitter account that we created was just, suddenly it was just like a wildfire. Like, I remember Chrissy looking over at me and like asking like, what's going on? Faithful and just to forgive. I might have been a little annoyed that he was on his phone in church. To forgive us our sins. Like, what are you doing right now? What is going on? I said, phone, Twitter, I don't know. <laughs> you know, said, how do you explain that? It was just like the sign of things to come, I guess. Like some, this was suddenly now out of control. I think it became quickly apparent that like we had this platform and our voices were being heard. And it was a matter of, you know, what do we want people to hear us saying? We decided we're going to start selling T-shirts and all the profits was going to go to Roswell Park. We, we, weren't, we weren't trying to make it about us because it was already cool just being part of this whole Bills Mafia thing. We weren't looking to take advantage of our fellow fans. We were just looking to celebrate our love for the team with our fellow fans. You know, in the Bible, it, it says that too much is given, much is required. And so a lot of eyeballs on, on other smartphones were, I guess, given to me. And so I had to do something responsible with it, you know? All I could think of was how you have the ability to help people who are in terrible situations through a couple keystrokes on your phone. You can do that. So in February of 2021, went to the doctor and told us the news that I had rectal cancer. It wasn't news my 39-year-old self wanted to hear. 26 shirts came into play, and it was really a blessing for us. I didn't have to worry where funds were going to come from if my husband was going to have to take off work to be with me or take care of the kids. We're forever grateful for the work you guys do and the just most of all the people that you help. So to me, Bills Mafia is the coming together of all of the Buffalo Bills fans. Whether you are in Alaska or New York or Florida, everybody that is a Bills fan is part of Bills Mafia. In relation to that, Mafia Babes is similar in that to be a Mafia Babe, you just have to be a woman that's a fan of the Bills. You know, everybody's included. It's an all-inclusive organization. And that's, that's really all it takes is just, you know, be, be passionate about the team. One day, somebody reaches out to me and said, hey, can you share this online raffle that I'm doing? And so he goes on to tell me about how they have two daughters. Uh, one is two years old and has a condition called retinoblastoma, which is eye cancer. Amber had already had one eye removed and was getting chemotherapy applied directly to the other eye in hopes of saving it. So I'm reading Amber's story, and I remember I'm sitting in the car crying, just reading this story, and I've got two daughters of my own. And so I said, all right, dude, no problem. I'll share your, your raffle. Uh, I said, next time we do something, you know, cool, I'll give you the money from it. And I used to go to this men's Bible study accountability group, and I'm telling my friends about, you know, this little girl just feeling like I can do so much more. And I, you know, I had an idea to sell a shirt to help her. We had just finished um, selling a shirt through all the Bill's Mafia stuff. And I was like, you know, I think I could make a different shirt every two weeks for a year. And my buddy Jake, he looks at me, he's like, dude, that's 26 shirts. I wake up the next day and I just, the only way I can describe it is that I saw 26 everywhere. Don't forget we have an event on 
the 26th. Draw me like one of your buffalo with Josh's potato. It's referencing Titanic when she said, draw me like one of your French girls, but obviously it's more about Josh not being able to draw. <laughs> I see people everywhere and I'm just like, hey, that's a 26 shirt. <laughs> you just know, like, cause even the ones I don't buy, I know all the designs and I'll like retweet them and whatever. I know I had several people buy the shirt who aren't even Bills fans because one, it came from my sign and then when I told them, you know, oh, if you go look, this helps, you know, wh whoever is the beneficiary. And they were like, oh, I love that. I'm going to buy it even though I'm not a Bills fan. <laughs>2010, I became ill with ulcerative colitis. I was advised to have a total colectomy, so I went to the Cleveland Clinic to have that done. While recovering from that, my uh, immune system kind of went into overdrive. The white blood cells, the eosinophils, began attacking my heart a short time later. Uh, I was initially thought I'd make a full recovery, but um, eventually in 2013, I was added to a transplant list at Strong Memorial Hospital in Rochester, New York. Yeah, this was a crazy ride, and I can only say that it's only because of organizations, people, people like that run 26 shirts, Dal and Chrissy. The support of the community was amazing, and really, 26 shirts was the first organization that really came to us. 
It just feels like home, you know, it feels like two different worlds that you live in, Buffalo during the summer and Buffalo during the winter, but there's nowhere else quite like it. Everything that we have to offer, you know, whether it be like the waterfront, the village, there's so many different worlds that all kind of collide in Buffalo. No matter where you go, you find somewhere that feels like home. I have uh, a long medical journey. Unfortunately, I'm a recipient of a life-saving kidney transplant. But unfortunately, the medication that you take to keep that going can have really harsh side effects. Being on them for the long term, some of those side effects could lead to the possibility of cancer, which was what happened in my case. During the COVID years and the last couple of years, um, see my family and see my aunt, go through more than I could ever imagine one going through in one's life. And I saw my family and my aunt and uncle take on a financial burden um, that was over them while trying to heal of two different types of cancer. And I wanted to do something. I wanted to do something more. And I always knew of 26 shirts. Um, I never thought we could be one of those families, but I knew we had to be. And around August, the Josh shirt came out to support my aunt. It was the most incredible thing. And I try to thank everyone that I see wearing this shirt because I see it everywhere. And it may seem like a small action to them of just buying a t-shirt, but it meant the absolute world to my aunt and to our family. It brings people together. It brings a community of people on the same page to help. And it's not one person that does it. It's not even 26 shirts that does it. It's the people that buy the shirts that are doing the good in the long run. I cannot overemphasize how much 26 Shirts is not me. It is Andrew, it's Josh, it's Bob, Stephanie, Leanne, it's every employee that has worked for us. It's it's Dan Giganti who helped launch this with me. It you know It's every fan that's ever bought a shirt. It's every fan who's ever retweeted or reposted something on Facebook, just sharing it so somebody else could see it. It's every family that we've helped that stepped outside of their comfort zone and say, yes, I need help. And, you know, it's a lot of responsibility and we don't take it lightly. And we're so grateful for the role that we get to play in local and Western New York expat community. We're just grateful that we get to do this. You almost got me to cry. For her to be sitting here today, for what we've gone through, to have it be represented in a shirt that brings so much hope to other people, and not only brought us hope, but helped us through it, brought us together as a family. And for her to feel the confidence to come out of this is, that's a real champion. And that's what I think about our community. Yeah, do we want to win a Super Bowl? Yeah, that would be great. But we champion other people along the way. And I think we lose the term champion when we just keep it in the sports because it's the champion of the spirit. And that's what my wife is. And that's all I have to <laughs> So, what is a t shirt? It's a piece of clothing. It's also a message, a fashion statement, a story. It's many things to many people, and it's up to you as to how you define it. We see it as a declaration of our commitment to helping others. So sure, we sell t-shirts. And I guess that technically makes us a t-shirt company. But it goes deeper than that. We're a giving company, a fundraising company. We're all of these things. We just happen to sell t-shirts. 
26 shirts is you. It's me. It's our friends, family, complete strangers. It's Buffalo. Together, we are the Mafia. And here, Mafia means family.